Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for March 2024. We're going to see what the story is, what you need to know, what the angels are bringing forward for you to be aware of. Okay. Oh, there's one. Perspective. Definitely, this is a time of renewal, starting fresh on something. I I can see a lot of you, especially around home, just kind of going, you know what, I'm sick of this clutter. You go through it, you donate, you recycle, you do um, all these things to kind of clear out the old way, the old energy. But we'll, we'll talk more about all of that. Solutions, the sun. Five of Gabriel, it's going to be a little hard to let go, and King of Gabriel, but it's going to be worth it in the end. All right, so let me kind of stack these cards up. I did this for one of the other signs, so I'll do it for you guys too. We'll line them up like this. Okay, how about that? So the first card that came out is the number 12. Now, you always hear me say that in angel numbers, you could reduce that the way we would reduce in numerology or angel numbers, okay? Not mathematical uh, reducing, but this would be two and one, three. You could see that as ascended masters kind of energy. This is uh, being in your wisdom, and that's where that new perspective comes from. But the 12, we can leave it there, okay? The 12 is a perfect completion. You've manifested the new thing. The new thing's coming in. You are fully ready for that new beginning, and to let that old stuff go away. Finally, on this card is Archangel Shamuel. And it says, there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. What's so funny about this is that it, it has this feeling of, I've been hoping for it, wishing for it, hoping, hoping, hoping. And maybe you've given up hope that anything is going to get unstuck or that anything is going to move forward. Shamuel comes forward and says, one, part of the shift in perspective is realizing it's not nearly as bad as you thought, okay? Maybe the um, the struggling, if you're struggling financially, you realize that something's coming along and you can, re can recover a lot faster than you thought you would. Or you, more than anything, they're saying that you're realizing where you're putting undue pressure on yourself. When on a soul contract kind of level, what needed to happen is you need to get all the bits of information. That's the 12, right? There's completion of lessons because you have all the information. You've done all the introspective work and now you see things from a different angle. You know how to work your way forward, which is when we come into the solutions card. Now this is 14, reduces to five. You're ready for the change. You have that five of Gabriel in there. Here's what I'm feeling though. I'm, I'm hearing wounded. You guys are carrying a few wounds with you still. And these aren't just wounds from like the last month or the last few years. This might be from early on in your life. Okay. Part of the new perspective is you're realizing I don't have to rush ahead on anything. As a matter of fact, it's probably better that I just complete things as they are open in front of me as opposed to stumbling ahead and trying to make something happen that maybe isn't in my hands good, right? There's a lot of that going on for you guys this month. So this is Archangel Zadkiel. Again, 14 reduces to five. And the card is solutions. It says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Again, that's part of that. Um, I don't want to call it strenuous, but you've been doing quite a bit of work to... Keep yourself calm through some of the <laughs> worst situations. And for you guys, it is heavily financial. Um, and you're realizing that your stress is getting you nowhere. As a matter of fact, you might even have some, you know, stress-related health concerns. Check with a doctor, of course. But Zadkiel comes along and says, hey, it doesn't have to be like this. The reason why you feel like you're the load and the bird, the burden and the load that you're carrying around is so bad is because you have never really given yourself proper time to lay down the old stuff, right? You're very nostalgic, right? So you carry things with you, you carry maybe, like I said, the old wounds or you're carrying the old burdens, the old worries the old definition of yourself. And that's part of this perspective card. 
is that you're changing how you see you, all right? Uh, so that forgiving and healing energy, okay, so there's the card, there's that. This leads into the sun, which is very nice. This is like giving your heart a break. This is finally coming to a place where, you know, life doesn't, and I say this all the time, life doesn't begin once you accomplish all the things you want to accomplish. Your life is happening right now, okay? So the sun is helping with that new beginning, that fresh perspective of maybe you vow that every day you wake up, you're not going to allow yourself to immediately jump into your emails and start stressing out, right? Or I'm not going to immediately um, jump to conclusions about things. Because we have Archangel Uriel on here. The number is 19, nine and one. That's how we do that with angel numbers. Nine and one is 10. You can leave it at 10, which is also a completion number, or we can bring that down to one. This is you reassessing who you are. Now that sounds so either generic or grandiose. I don't know. It depends on your perspective, right? <laughs> but this is the solar plexus. Archangel Uriel says, Hey, you know, do you have, where have you allowed too many people to infiltrate your emotions? And are you still carrying that with you? Are you still carrying other people's opinions with you? Okay. Judgments, you know, all these kinds of things. Something has not worked out in the way you had hoped. And I feel like too, like there's probably been quite a bit you have worked on. And at every turn, you're taking the advice. You know, if someone says, hey, this is best practice, you're learning the best practice and you know, you're, you're putting it into play and still nothing is coming back to you. That is gonna make more sense here in March. And because it starts to make more sense to you, you can start letting go. So let me read this card to you. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So again, because you're coming from that higher wisdom place, you're starting to reevaluate and say, you know, hey, I don't have to be a victim. It might be that, right? If, you're, if you've been giving your power away, we hear that all the time. That's become cliche, right? But if... Let's say you're in a job. Okay, we'll just use that. It's a, an example I think a lot of people can relate to. Let's say you're in a job and you're not getting the pay raises, but you're getting double, triple the work and you're supposed to not have anything to say about it. For some of you who are working for an hourly wage, you're expected to drive through ice storms and endanger yourself just to open a store in case somebody wants some junk food. You know what I mean? Like it, it, this is that kind of energy of I can't do this anymore. <laughs> this is not worth it to me. And it's that break in the perspective. It's shining a light on where you've given your power away. Because maybe you thought, well, that's all I'm capable of doing. And, and you realize, no, it's not. That's not everything I'm capable of doing. Um, and again, there's this energy of change. So we have five of Gabriel here. It says a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. This, you're having, well, you're having a major growth moment because you're coming from the five of Gabriel and you're going into the king of Gabriel. Again, this is self-assessment. This is why am I constantly just accepting the story as it is when I have had the power to change it all this time. Now, part of this, I'm telling you, there's a lot around stress relief, okay? <laughs> like some of you, you need the clearing. You, you need to have more fun in your life so that you can open up your creativity. You've been in survival mode, yes. Okay, so they're saying you've been in survival mode quite a bit and now there's some sort of solution. There's some sort of, you know, way of working things out. Yeah, you know, let's go along with that example where I was saying, you know, maybe you make an hourly wage and you're expected to go through an ice storm to open a store. Well, maybe you check if it's like a big branch or something or a big franchise and you say, hey, can I get employed at one of these locations closer to home? Start as simply as that, just asking. Or if you finally decide, okay, I'm ready to go after creative passion I'm ready to at least engage in it and give it some more attention, okay? There, for you guys this month, it's not a whole lot of like glamorous 
out there kind of stuff, right? It's more like, oh, thank God. Okay, that bill is not going to be due. This might have to do with like stimulus checks. It might have, because it has that feeling of, oh, thank goodness. Okay, oh, I don't have to worry about that. Something pops up that provides a solution. Heavy financial stuff for you guys this month uh, and self-assessment. That's really what the big themes are. So then we get into King of Gabriel, and this says generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Now, where was the other? Here, this says success. What's the other one? Dare to be different. All right, so you need to try something new, and you're realizing where you have gotten yourself stuck and now why you have been stuck. Okay, and it could be, for some of you, this might be someone coming out and going, why are you doing this to yourself? For some of you, you do, when it comes to love, for example, you stay in really terrible dynamics maybe, or you keep going back to an ex, or maybe some of you out there are a little obsessive, you're obsessing over an old situation, okay? That needs to change, okay? That needs to have some turnover so that you can move forward and start crafting this next phase and to reach your fullest potential. That's Archangel Shamuel from the Perspective card, okay? But the King of Gabriel, mostly I feel like that's your energy and that's kind of what you're stepping into and what you're embracing this month, taking charge of letting your, creating, letting your creative life force work through you maybe being not aggressive but being a little more assertive but the king of gabriel could also indicate someone coming forward and having an opportunity for you so this could be someone who says hey you know i'll partner up with you or um if you are an entrepreneur maybe you do affiliate marketing or something like that that could represent a business but it is in the creative field okay it's something even if you yourself are doing the more corporate, not that corporate isn't creative, but you know what I'm saying. When I say creative, I mean like graphic designers and things like that. Even if you're not doing that exact thing, the company or the industry that's proposing this to you might have a reputation for being very creative. For some of you, okay, now I did feel this. This is for a select few. This is a general reading, so if you want to work with me, go to angelsouls444.com. That's where you can get a standard reading where you just submit a form. I take care of the reading for you. No time commitment on your part. I send it off to you. Here and there, I can do a one-on-one -on -one live session over Zoom every once in a while. Those are not on my website. If you want a live session, a live reading, or a live course, connect with your angels, learning angel mediumship, or learning to read angel oracle cards, you can email me for one of those at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Overall, I'm not going to sit here in line and say, this is a glamorous month. It's just going to be all these, like you're a rock star and all these things are happening. As a matter of fact, it's more, it's, huh, it's so much more subdued than that. It is finding peace and quiet and progress by quietly letting something go, by quietly saying, okay, you know what? I've been in too much conflict. Maybe this is internal conflict, or maybe this is conflict with others, or maybe I've held myself back because someone who thinks they're my king, let's talk about that one. Someone who thinks they're my king is telling me I can't. For some of you, that's an energy that's coming up that you're going to have to deal with, but... I, this could be someone who's carrying masculine energy. Remember, we all have both masculine and feminine within us. But someone comes forward and they have something, something to offer that makes you feel supported, cared for, seen, understood, and it's calming. That's kind of what your March 2024 is. It's very calming. Okay, now again, each of you will have your individual experiences and things popping up. But this is... This is the theme. This is the theme. And because you choose to have a fresh beginning around something, your frequency changes, your visibility changes. 
and you're going to get noticed, but a lot of this feels very behind the scenes, very behind the scenes. So you may not be coming out and letting the whole world know what you have going on, but you're going to have these little wins throughout the month. But first comes the work of getting rid of some of the things that have controlled you. That's a big one. All right. So again, angelsouls444.com if you want to work with me. And we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.